Jeff Hansen, Window Warriors Forum. Check us out at windowcleaningwarriors.com. Today we're looking at a site and it's full of spider webs. So to clean these frames and sills, what we do is we have three guys out here today, so we're kind of doing this assembly line. A, we find it's a little more efficient because of the process that we're using. We're trying to get to the, the dirt buildup on these frames and we're trying to get to all the spider webs before we apply water. So let's take a look at what, we, uh, uh, what we're looking at. So all of our frames here, you know, we have spider webs all the way around here. And these frames, or these sills, are very dirty. So our first guy that goes around, he's only cleaning uh, the smaller uh, window. Fortunate for us, we can use just a 18 inch squeegee, wet that down. So we're wetting that down using a pole. And then we come behind that with a squeegee that is cut to size. So then uh, we're just one swiping. So it's just one swipe on each of these. So if we step back, we can take a look at what we have here. So these are big complexes here that uh, have a number of windows on each building. We're doing three different buildings. Um, yeah, these just keep kind of going, but you can see the uh, sills, they all have all that uh, spider webs built up and dirt on them, and the facility just keeps going. So what we do is the first guy that goes around, we're just gonna go around without even a rag. We have gloves on today because of the weather, and we just basically just knock this stuff down. And by the time we knock it down once, you can see how much it just gets dry. That's what it looked like. That's what we're getting it down to. So the one guy just goes around, so he'll just you know, knock a bunch of these out. Uh, at just doing it dry. So what we found works good for us is by hitting these dry before you add water to it, the water just makes them into mud and uh, makes it be more time consuming uh, once we get uh, water onto it, the mud to clean it up. So this is what it looks like after the guy went and did his tops. He'll also take the second, so the first guy goes, does the initial wipe of all the spider webs on all these sills. Uh, the second guy goes and does cleans the upper window there. Third guy comes behind and does this. So when the guy comes and does the upper window, he'll just wipe that track once. So then the last guy that's cleaning the bigger picture window here, he has a very clean sill compared to what it was. So first guy wipes all the way around the perimeter of the window. Let's step back. First guy wipes around perimeter of the window, spider webs, and that sill. Second guy cleans the two odd shaped windows that are we cut, squeegee cut to size, pulling them sideways. And then once he does that, he'll just do the, he'll wet a bay of, here we got four, five, six windows down. He'll wet those down. Once he squeegees them, he takes a clean rag and does the second wipe, just a quick one, of the sill. So when this guy here, the last guy in the row, comes doing just these large pitchers, all he's got to do, he's got a clean sill. It keeps his water much, much cleaner. Don't have to change it as often. And just kind of makes it a little more efficient. We don't have to change water more often. It keeps it cleaner. We can go longer. Uh, we used to have to fill up our water many times throughout one building. And this way we only do it once uh, by wiping stuff as it's dry rather than adding water to it to make mud. That's a look. Cleaning spider webs and dirty frames and sills on a commercial site. So out here in Window Warriors Forum.